we were just saying how Little Mac doesn't exist, and we seen the first one on stream. That's phenomenal. Can't believe that's happened. I can't wait for this character to die at 15, and it won't be the player's fault. It's just Little Mac is that bad. But here we go. Gonna go ahead and start off. User 999 and Jump Steady. Going on Pokemon Stadium. I feel like, in general, yes, Little Mac is fast, but Politena has the invulnerability, you know, on the back air and the dash attack just to be able to supplement being able to counteract Little Mac's playstyle. Little Mac, it's uh, kind of hard to approach. Yes, he does have fast data, but it's not really efficient being in combos. You just get like single punches and then try to apply pressure. But there we go, getting that four smash at the ledge, trying to dash dance, trying to find some kind of read. But he's not getting it. And of course, that back air is going to be so... Oh! Mm, that down throw is sending him a lot higher, actually. Not able to quite connect into an upbeat, though. I think that the eye might be either really good from Jump Steady or 999 is a little bit hesitant to try and throw something out. I'm going to be honest, Little Mac's not <laughs> a character that I have studied enough quite yet. I'll get there soon, but yes, this is another weakness. Those juggles. Only one air dodge. He used it up already. And Little Mac doesn't have the best air drift ever, so he's going to get caught very easily by that up air. Polygon is such a great juggle character. I think Jump City kind of remembers the matchup from Smash 4. You know that 4 Smash is very dangerous on shield, so just decides to not deal with it. Great combo. Gets the extension on the platform. Catches that directional air dodge and uses that nair. What's the edge guard going to be into the forward smash? That takes out another stock. And I mean, I think user 999 did a good job. He mixed it up. He didn't do the air dodge again or something like that. Or he just he didn't try to go for ledge or try to make sure that he mixed up how he brought it back to the stage. But like I said, sometimes the waiting option covers so much stuff that the counter it makes it even worse in this scenario. Finally, a 4 toe will take it, though. Oh, DI in. Little Mac does not want to be off stage, so very easy to tell that DI. No jump, you're dead. Wow. That is completely not user 999's fault. Even if he was the best player in the world, I completely blame this on Little Mac. What do you think, Vince? I agree. <laughs> I agree. Um... If we talk about like some characters we were excited to see in this game in terms of the meta, and Mac was like one of those players like, oh, he's gonna be good, right? And, like he has dash dances and all this stuff. No man, like if you have poor out of shield options because of how good out of shield options are, and since Mac has very terrible aerials, you're, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> you're not yeah. going anywhere. Like Rem remember when? Um, hold on, let me go ahead and fix my my mic real quick. Hold on. Okay. Uh -huh. Remember when? <laughs> Little Mac was first tested at the demo. Everyone was like, Little Mac is side bait to up bait! And everyone thought it was over. Like, Little Mac would be the best character in the world. Yeah, that's obviously not the case. But we're yeah. going to a much better character. We're going to Mario this time, and we're going on Battlefield. Yeah, thank God. I was going to say, like, yo, man, don't, don't pick Mac. Like, you have no reason to pick Mac. Like, you can be a diehard fan. You, it, there's just no reason. But anyways, yeah, Mario is a much better pick here. Yep. Jump Steady kind of getting a flow of how he's recovering back to the stage. Juju999 has been going high every single time. I don't know if that's just a little mag habit, but yeah, he uses double jump early. Finally gonna go low, but he gets clipped by the down tilt. And yeah, Dump said he's been good at catching that habit and making sure that he forces him just to stay in the air. One thing about user 99 is he actually used to play Smash 4 back in the day and he kind of just stopped and he, <laughs> and he disappeared for a while. So it's kind of like his, kind of like his comeback tournament, especially with now Ultimate now here. Uh, one thing I'm noticing is like he's still having some of the things he had in Smash 4 that he used to do, which was recovering high back in the day. Mm -hmm. Alright, he's listening to... Oh no, that down tilt is so good at clipping him. Mario's sweet spot is kind of finicky of how his sweet spots to the stage sometimes, so you might get <laughs> caught by accident. So it's unfortunate, but he's going to get clipped there, get that back air, going to take that stock, and a nair to confirm dash attack. Alright, there's the back to finally use an iron with a little bit of the edge to himself, tries to go for a grab, missing that opportunity, and jumps that he gets back on the stage. One thing I do like that Jump Steady is doing, he's keeping us cool. I'm not going to lie, like, he's no, he's waiting for User99 to come to him because he knows he has a life lead, a stock lead. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that User99 has been doing, different than what we see from Mario's, is the fireball entrance. Mm -hmm. Right? He's actually just coming in, but as I say, like, he finally puts him into a small attempt. Ooh, dashes back. Giving him too much space, though. Sometimes when you aren't confident in your dash dances and you want to just create space, sometimes you leave too much open. And especially against a character like Palatina, she's a character that, in close combat, if you're faster than her, it can definitely work out in your favor just like that. 
And that's why giving her too much space is sometimes pretty dangerous. And you got to be careful about that, especially if he gets fighting that kind of character. Went high again and covered it with the up smash. Yeah, at this situation, you need to understand mixing up your recoveries is super crucial, especially if your opponent's onto the habits that you're having. Going up high will not... It's a good option than going low at times, but that's the thing, it's at times. So that up air, going into it, user 9 having trouble, tries to land with a neutral with a down air. Yeah, I mean, user 999 is mixing up at least the timings of how he goes high. Yeah. yeah it looked like he was going <laughs> to fast fall to the ledge, and then <laughs> he up beat. But the way jump set he plays, his waiting option covers all of that, because he can get a better option because he hasn't committed to anything yet. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as he saw him go high, he went oh. for the up smash, and that was it. He's going for the classic smash four stuff, right? Up tilt, the down tilt, and re-grab, down throw, things like that. But that's not working anymore. Grab into roar back air, and missing that opportunity here. J jump steady with another opportunity here, gets the back throw. Edge guard situation in his hands. I like the fact that he went for... I'm sorry. I like the fact that he went for explosive flame because at that situation, using iron was so far off. Oh, that actually clipped him from the get-up. Uh, okay, let me just finish up that. He went for explosive flame because if user 99 tried to go for a different option, he wasn't going to be able to go for it, right? If he went too far off and tried to go low, he was going to get caught by it. And if he went high, he wasn't going to be able to react to it. Mm -hmm. So he kind of just forced that user 99 to pick an option and say, I have, the, I have him covered, basically. He has a very easy way to elicit how you want your opponent to get the reaction you want to. Mm -hmm. Because your opponent's not a stupid person. Like They no. know when they're getting clipped and they know...